morning of day one, full day one. Just unloading the bikes, getting things uh, all set up here at the property. And then we've uh, bug bombed the shop and we're gonna be uh, organizing this a little bit today, getting it cleaned out so we can put some stuff in here. First fire. Do we have a hose handy? We do, except we'd have to disconnect our hose. To, I need to put the T up there so I can put another hose off of it. Well, we probably should do that before I light it. Okay. Just so, for safety. cleaning out the shop as we wait for the pool guy. And yeah. uh, some of the stuff is salvageable. Not really anything salvageable. How do we say that? How do you say that? Salvageable. Um, what we're keeping in the shop is pretty much just that tool bench. Uh, some of the wall we're going to okay. keep. The pegboard walls that are in nice shape we're going to keep. We're going to take most of it or some of it down because there's, as you can see, it's nasty. So Chris already took out some of the drawers. We're taking this unit out and just burning it. That was another unit that we're just going to burn as well. And we're going to fix this up nicely so it'll be nice and clean for our Tractors, motorcycles, Jeep. All right, still here day one. As I said, uh, cleaning up the shop today, unloading some stuff from the RV. We're gonna pull a permit for the 200 amp upgrade to the home so we can get that done in just a couple of days. So we also have just here less than an hour, um, a pool specialist coming in. So right behind the house here, we're gonna put in a pool, a small uh, in-ground pool. The issues that we have here uh, that we're dealing with is um, septic tank is about right here and then all of that uh, sidewalk concrete sidewalk that's gonna have to come out uh, which we'll be working on that as soon as we uh, get the tractor um, so one of the uh, compromises we made we originally wanted to be on a creek or a river something that was flowing and actually had enough water to kind of get in and, and not necessarily swim but get in and play around in um, the creek here is nice but it doesn't have deep flowing water it's it's I think it's spring fred because it's got water in it but you'll see when we get back to the creek which is down that hill it's not really something that you could really immerse yourself in uh, we might be able to put a swimming hole in there um, but we're going to put a pool in right outside our back door as well so that project is going to get quoted today Well, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, the woman that was living in the house. Oh, there's another snake skin. Another sick snake skin. So the woman that lived in the house was in her 60s and um, had some type of condition where that was getting worse, and that's why she moved away and sold the house. Um, but out here in the shop, after um, it appears that after the husband left, there wasn't much done out here in the shop except for. A, mou a mouse party and maybe a snake. mice snakes spiders you name it so we're gonna bring a new supply of electric over here as well after we get the 200 amp upgrade as you can see in here uh, they ran the wire before there's no wires coming into the feed where it's supposed to be so they just brought 30 amp circuit over and put it on a 30 amp breaker 
meaning everything's running through that breaker. So any other breakers they put on here aren't truly 30 amps because they're all pulling from one 30 amp breaker. So we're this is the, uh, you'll get an indication of what the drawers and cabinets in the shop look like pretty much all over the place. Um, the inside of the house is a bit better, um, but not a whole lot. There's some water damage and stuff like that. We'll show you the inside. All right, we got the uh, cabinets out of here. There's still a few boards, framing boards to the wall, but we're actually gonna take this uh, this whole wall off. Just the, uh, probably put some pegboard up there or something else. We're also, also gonna put an access panel to the attic right in here. They covered up the access panel, I think, with the insulation. So not even sure what's up there, um, but it could be used for additional storage or um, you need an access panel uh, because there's electric running up there. So um, <clears throat> if anything goes wrong, long, wrong with the electric, which right now, lights are not working. So there's something either with the breaker for the lights, not gonna mess with that right now until we get that new service run over here. Um, once we get the new service run over here, I'll uh, test that line out, see if it's the breaker or if there's something in those lines. I might have to get up there, rerun the, uh, the lighting wiring for this uh, shop. So that first little demolition project is done uh, the pool guy is still here and uh, we're burning up the stuff that we've taken out of the garage Chris is finishing up with the pool guy <clears throat> once that's done we're gonna get on our bikes and head towards Benton County Electric to pull the permit for the 200 amp upgrade then we're gonna go to the Kubota dealer and uh, look at some tractors so come along with us
pulled our uh, permit for the electric work tomorrow in Camden, which is where Benton County Electric is. And now we're heading towards Paris to take a look at our Tractas. So we're going to Kubota dealer in uh, outside of Paris, Tennessee. But along the way, we stopped at uh, this place called The Shack, a little barbecue place outside of Camden. And uh, Chris had the wings. I had a, a bologna sandwich. And uh, the sides are fantastic. I don't think I would get the bologna sandwich again because I'm not a huge fan of bologna, but I wanted to try one. What about the wings? The wings are very good. Wings are very good. Are good. Anything else to say about this place? Maybe to try. Didn't try the coleslaw, but I'm sure. Yeah, we had uh, potato salad. Fantastic. I had uh, baked beans. They were good as well. I think that's the only salad, right? Coleslaw, mac and cheese. Well, I mean, that's all we tried. Yes. Uh, they have also got uh, green bean fries, which are like deep fried green beans. We didn't try those either. So it's worth a try. Mm -hmm. I burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright in my journey. Was over what I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light. I'm Wrapping up uh, day one, day two, whatever you want to call it. We closed yesterday, but it was in the afternoon. We didn't really do much. So today was the first full day and uh, got a lot done. Got our tractors ordered. We'll find out uh, how long it's going to be before they get here. And uh, we got our electric permit pulled. The electrician will be here Saturday morning to do that. So tomorrow's Thursday. I go back to work and uh, I'm sure Chris will have some things to get done on her list Thursday and Friday and then uh, Saturday and Sunday will be full days working around here Saturday will be the electric upgrade so until then 